Okay. Yeah. Hi everybody. Welcome to Kashyap Astro. Uh, I have two uh, beautiful guests, young people here. Uh, one is uh, Jatin Gupta, and another person is Parth Sarda. So these two people uh, have uh, you know done good stuff with uh, the examinations, which are which is one of the toughest examination in the country, which is KVPY scholarship. Uh, which is uh, taken, you know, which is run by Indian Institute of Science, which is one of the premier institutes in the country. And uh, I'm glad to say Jatin Gupta is the scholar and uh, Parth Sarda is the extended rank holder of KVPY, who both studied here at an academy, who still studying at an academy, and uh, who are my students since last two years, uh, last year or so. Uh, and um, yeah, we, we have great fun and interactions in our classes. And I'm really happy and proud to say that these two have literally took up the computations and have done a difference in this uh, examinations. And uh, first of all, I would like to ask, congratulate them on this beautiful achievement. And it's not so easy because, you know, uh, nearly a lakh, uh, one lakh students take up this examination and not everybody's names come up uh, on the KVPY board. It's very hard, that hard examination. So. When, when you do something special, I think uh, it's time for recognition. And uh, uh, so along with congratulations, I would like to go with the senior person here, uh, Jatin Gupta. So Jatin, how was the experience with KVPY and how was your preparation? Thank you, sir, for uh, inviting me here. And the, the KVPY thing, actually I was greatly motivated with the science aspect that IISC encourages all over the country. And so they have this beautiful examination where they test you upon a different level of like science subjects at 11th and 12th level. So basically like my preparation began along with preparation for different entrance examinations. I opted for the examination being aware of this KVPY scholarship thing. So I appeared both the years and I received this scholarship eleven, and application for it was intertwined eleventh and class twelve things, uh, which the NCRT provides. The means the syllabus sticks to NCRT, but the level of questions that are framed are at a different level. It basically sorts of creativeness and newness in things. Like they even ask upon the things which are currently in going on in the research, just a basic version to test the scientific curiosity of every children. So I think it was a great experience and that's an excellent answer, uh, Jatin. This Actually, video, the bit, word you said, nah, the curiosity uh, to thirst, like the research, basic research level questions. So not many people, uh, you know, take up uh, the basic, you know, if you try to understand a subject from the base root of it and try to understand till the research level of it, I think you can do these kind of great things. That is one of the key aspects. Uh, I always like to see students doing these things in, uh, you know, from their heart, like to try and understand the subject rather than just mugging it up, uh, writing the formulas for just for the sake of examinations. This kind of, uh, you know, uh, understanding and yes. studying is the key. And how was your reaction uh, when you first heard the result? I was like, coincidentally, both of the years I was not expecting that I would get selected or so, but by luck, I guess I get selected both the times and along with luck, I, it, it, it was, it was, it was a little surprising, but also like really, really leaving up to my and could like solve new questions, which were asked in the exam. And so I'm like happy after. This. Oh, that's, that's excellent answer. Thank you, uh, Jatin. Now I would like to talk with Parth uh, Sarda, who is an extended uh, rank holder, holder at KVPY. So how was your preparation, Parth? Yeah, hello everyone. Good evening. Yeah, uh, like the preparation was like a bit complicated if I had to explain the whole journey. So basically I had this idea of like giving KVPY and like getting selected for IAS, I have been carrying it since 8th because I 
I was envisioning myself to be a researcher at that time. My whole research bag, like I first dreamt of being a researcher when I was in seven, because the whole quantum mechanisms and quantum mechanics and how eigenfunctions and everything works literally astounded me towards this great subject. And so this drew me towards what I could do and what I thought would be an ideal career for me. So I then figured out like IIC is one of the best institution in India for research and they have their own KPPY exam. I got all the information done, how this exam is conducted. It is conducted in three levels, as you may be knowing, SA, SX and SB, which are basically for 11th, 12th and first year people who are interested. So yeah, everyone has their own level of difficulty level and own cut off and if you can clear it then you get a get a wonderful opportunity to be a fellow as well as in like a rank holder and so basically like it started from there and then i carried like i started reading lots of different books and stuff regarding it i was like i was never a very kind of person who used to read one kind of book i used to think out of the box and like literally read stuff that were way beyond my actually scope and like sometimes that got me distracted and yeah I, this has been like my journey for a long time like most of things like read stuff that were uh, like uh, to be cool that sounds very yeah, interesting Pat. uh so uh coming back to jatin uh so what was the books and uh you know lectures you, you that made you uh, you know the preparation part like what kind of lectures what kind of books and uh, what kind of study material you uh, followed uh, to achieve this tramp uh, for reference purpose i guess uh, the previous year questions of both of these exam and the olympiads which are conducted yeah. Like by HBCSC. And Oops. also viewers, I would like to tell you, he is one of the IOQA qualifiers, Indian uh, Astronomy Olympiad qualifier. And uh, we year. had a discussion based on that or an academy as well. So just a sideline based on that. Yeah. So with that like knowledge, I had this awareness for both of these exams. So the previous year question basically is the most key thing to tell you the philosophy exam. Because any other resource is not that apt for these kind of examinations where the questions are like so creatively framed and so there is no other reference so i guess the previous year questions practicing them checking your knowledge with whether it is at par with those questions or not and then building upon i guess this was the preparation for this exam and uh, any kind of uh, lectures and uh, any other exact books like books names uh, you would like to say so for class 11th it's physics chemistry maths and biology like biology is compulsory whereas in class 12th you can like choose three out of four to attempt so yeah. and the S sx that is the 12th and the first year paper is same like the paper is same for both of them. So I guess in class 11th, you have to like refer personally, I am pursuing like engineering entrance. So I was not acclaimed with that of bio, but the last month one can devote to that bio stuff so that he can memorize the facts. And if questions are asked, he can answer it in the exam. And books related to PCM, I guess the entrance material, which you are whichever entrance you are pursuing, that material gives you the start. Yeah. The things which you can build upon in books uh, for physics, H.C. Verma is obviously the book. For any like, yeah. <laughs> any 11, 12 student should at least go through that I, say, yeah. I say, I say totally complete H.C. Verma. The question for short answers, those are so like innovative because an IIT prof has Yes. Sorry, a Padma Shri IIT prof has written that book. <laughs> yes. So everyone should pursue that, I guess. Yes. It's a great pride. And coming to like chemistry, uh, again, there's three parts majorly. And there are separate books that, like J.D. Lee for inorganic. J.D. Lee is a good book, yeah. Okay, for organic, I like personally 
I have a like mentor at an academy who who is also coincidentally a research scholar. So he used to teach me mentor. And for maths also, I have like a good teacher at an academy who is himself a ranker in this examination, I guess. And so he mentored me as well. And for physics, Madhu Kashyap sir all <laughs> like produce some extra classes on Olympiads that especially the astro thing, which also comes in this exam as a different. I remember a gravitational slingshot concept came in class 11. I remember <laughs> these. So yes, so so I guess this this was the resources I used. Thank you, Jatin. That was quite insightful and that that especially the books and uh, the way he prepared the channel the experience i think mo that might inspire some of the students and uh, now coming back to path i would like to ask you the same question how, how what books and what lectures uh, you know helped you achieve this triumph yeah so actually like uh, in books i would say like if you can be perfect in ncrt that's for that like especially for chemistry and uh, like in uh, chemistry and biology that's more than enough and like yeah uh, like you can add some extra stuff to that if you know some extra information that's always helpful and in mathematics they follow a very different tract so basically you need to have a great knowledge about number theory so like a lot of number theory questions are asked to be exact 150 like previous 10 year question that that includes a list of around like uh like 240 questions um 250 questions to be exact among them uh, 160 questions are from number theory 160 so number theory they they go deep into numbers and like especially they also go deep into mensuration geometry these concepts so basically like yeah in mathematics if you know the basic concepts very well and you're very well acquainted with these things then you can basically take a shot. But mathematics is something which a lot of people avoid. And like, as I missed actually the fellowship by far five marks, I, I read out myself doing mathematics because mathematics took a lot of my time. If I had refocused it towards physics, I would have done better. Or like, I think I would have got the fellowship that I didn't get. So yeah, basically in mathematics, you have to uh, keep track of the time that you're spending. Our geometry treatment literally took 15 minutes of my paper. Uh, and, and then in physics, sir, physics is something which is like uh, uh, well shifted towards 12. So basically there are lots of 12 concepts which are asked, especially it's filled with optics. Optics has like it uh, like 15% of the paper, 15, 20%, 20% of the paper is totally with optics. Basically, you'll find lots of lenses, total internal reflection questions, Snell's law, trigonom and like a lot of trigonometry being applied, sine theta, and uh, there was a question, if I remember correctly, it was a prism, and basically you had to find what relation is the angle of refraction and angle of uh, incidence, and actually because there were two different slits towards it, so it made it more complicated. So yeah, the answer was something like tan theta is equal to sec theta by two, something like that so yeah <laughs> so basically physics is like if you know uh, the 12th part well it works but actually i didn't study a lot of 12th part and like yeah that's that somehow like varied me if i had to ask about my personal self so if you if you know the basic physical concept you can do better okay uh that's excellent path uh and uh, what lectures yeah sorry sorry uh, very sorry, I didn't, I didn't uh, mention the books and lectures. Very sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, I got busy in like describing the whole thing. So yeah, in books, actually, I like I took this book. Basically, it's uh, it's the CP publication book. This is for biology. This is for physics. Okay, it has all the <laughs> okay. questions. So it basically has the same pattern of questions. Though, like, you, if you have to take these books, you have to, like, take it before. Because I actually ordered them very late. So I wasn't so Basically, able... you have previous year questions, I guess. Yeah, yeah, previous has... year question papers. Yeah. And it has some other questions based on the topic where the questions are asked. So, yeah, you get, and especially chemistry, and then there is mathematics. Like, the biology one isn't that much helpful, but the rest of the other ones are actually, like, 
they're helpful if you are like putting your effort in. Like there are some other books as well. If you have, like as Jatin mentioned about Etsy, where it's always like in physics, especially it's a very good book to pursue. A lot of people literally use it. And then, like yeah, there are some other books that you can actually in, uh, for because a lot of wealth part is as you can actually if you're very interested in physics, you can go with the DJ Griffith Introduction to <laughs> Electrodynamics. Yeah. That's a good book to go to, though it is very high level. But yeah, you can. If you know the like literally, you can uh, clear most of the physics part if you know the book. Yes, totally agree. That's yeah. and, <laughs> and what lectures did you uh, follow for PCMB? Yeah, lectures. Uh, like I was constantly attending attending Madhusudan's classes for both eleventh and twelfth in physics. In chemistry, basically, I had uh, like a couple of unacademy teachers who I like. Little was attending my classes with, and apart from that, I did some self study. Self study is a must that yes. everyone <laughs> because like that basically envisions you towards doing. So like literally, I, uh, the biggest mistake that I did was basically not doing enough self study and basically over relying on some other stuff. I literally went to vacations fifteen uh, year fifteen uh, days before the exam. So that was one of my big mistakes that I committed. and then i literally rushed through everything so yeah basically self study is important and then in lectures i i like youtube has a lot of different material that you can go through like there's a person i think he's also a ranker he is 44th ranked this person has a whole series of stuff going on so i watched a bit of that and in biology I, like i also had this an academy i had a great educator in an academy Which I watched there. There was also Vani Kari Ma'am, uh, who I used to watch lectures of, and yeah, mentor helped me, and yeah, a lot of uh, different people helped me in the process. It's a big like process. Yeah, that's an excellent uh, 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 description. Thank you, uh, Parth and uh, Jatin. Um, actually, congratulations on. Uh, of getting the fellowship uh, jatin and being a extended rank holder par it's a great uh, achievement and uh, yeah i think it re, uh, it has to this has to motivate the future generation the main reason why we are having this discussion and showing uh, you know or the achievements of these people is to inspire more people okay so more people have to get aware of this and you have to spread this word so more people writes get start uh, you know start studying based on these things and you know this is a competitive world and uh, we all have to get the right equipments to fight it so uh, hopefully uh, we all uh, can you know continue this journey uh, with much more people uh, you know bringing pride to india okay so this is uh, uh, madhu kashyap uh, wrapping up and uh, see you in the next video until then have a nice day thank you see you everyone see you guys